with me to look at economy is financial analyst Lionel Friedfeld. Good evening. Good Thank evening, you very Lucy. much for coming. Thank you. So Americans and Israeli IRS are working, cooperating together to what exactly? Exactly. The pressure is increasing on the shoulders of American citizens as the Ministry of Finance of Israel just reached a deal. They signed with the U.S. Treasury the famous FACTA you know, transaction. Maybe you can have a look on the graph. Mm -hmm. But the FACTA is actually the foreign uh, you know, account tax and compliance act that was created uh, in 2010 and actually is asking any banks or uh, investment funds or insurance to disclose all the information to the IRS either in the United States. So uh, what are actually they're trying to look? Are they trying, who are they trying to look at? The U.S. is trying to locate any asset from Americans located in Israel, either it's a bank account or it's real estate or it's tax. So it's very important. So uh, Israeli banks, what they're doing, you know, they're speaking to the client, they say, please, you have to have an official, your account in Israel is obliged to be officially declared to the IRS. Otherwise, we'll close the bank account and the money will have to be transferred to the United States. And certainly you'll have to pay penalty on that. So if we're looking at the situation, it's basically uh, what the what is the current situation going to be for the French people who are coming to Israel? It's exactly the same because the U.S. started this pressure with a FACTA. It signed with 42 countries. They started with Switzerland and, it's, and it created a tsunami. We all remember that the Swiss bank have to be lifted over and then it went to the French the French the Swiss has to disclose information to the French and in Israel exactly the same the French tax authority is now speaking to the Israeli tax authority but it's a global trend because at the Cine G20 summit uh, in earlier in the year the OCDE you know impose uh, uh, rules that uh, the fiscal administration will have to speak to one another you know what we say in Hebrew it's a big balagan it is. It is. Lionel Friedman, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Protests have been uh, seen from Nigeria to Washington.